Hello, today I want to show you how to make this high voltage low inductance capacitor. This capacitor can withstand up to 10,000 volts. Most capacitors are made with their plates wound in the form of a coil and this generates a capacitance but also an inductance. Here we can see the two plates of the capacitor separated by the dielectric and as you can see they are wound in the form of a coil. By comparison our capacitor has flat plates so the inductance is kept to a minimum. This is important because as we know an inductance opposes the changes in current. So if we want to discharge the capacitor as fast as possible it is important to have a low inductance. This is of importance in some applications, for example, in pulsed power. The main ingredients of our capacitor are transparency film and copper tape. This is of 50 millimeters in wide. The next step is to cut the transparency film. I have divided the film in three equal parts and then in halves so that I get these rectangles. The length can be any size we want but the width must be such that when we put the copper tape we have around one centimeter at each side. This is important to avoid sparks between the plates of the capacitor. Cut a strip of copper tape of the same length as that of the transparency and we will put it in this way, leaving a space at one side of the foil. At the other side we will have a piece of copper tape outside the transparency and this will be for the capacitor terminal. I made several layers for the capacitor. Remember that a capacitor is nothing more than a pair of conductors separated by a dielectric. So here we have the two conductors, the copper tape and the dielectric is the transparency film. So with just two of these we already have a capacitor. But we can continue adding layers in order to increase the capacitance. The concept is simple. We put a conductor, then dielectric, another conductor, dielectric and so on. So for example here I have four conductors with their dielectrics and then we connect these two conductors and these other two 
and these will be the terminals of our capacitor. Of course, we can continue to add layers in order to increase the capacitance. Now, in order to assemble the capacitor, take the first layer with the copper tape upwards and the little terminal to the left. The next layer also with the copper upwards but the terminal to the right. You can use instant glue between layers to glue them together. The next layer goes with the terminal to the left, then the next to the right and so on until you have glued all the layers in place. You have to be very careful when applying the copper tape and try to avoid wrinkles and bubbles because this will cause corona due to the high voltage and this eventually will destroy the capacitor. Ok, all the layers of the capacitor are glued together. Now I will apply solder to all the terminals in both sides. For this capacitor I used a total of 12 layers, so I have 6 terminals on each side. Well, the capacitor is now ready. I have added two wires. I used black and red, however, this type of capacitor has no polarity. Let's now test it with some high voltage. Let's check what capacitance do we have. I have the capacitor connected to the multimeter and let's put it in the capacitance setting. As we can see, we have around 10 nanofarads. So we have a 10,000 volt capacitor with a capacitance of 10 nanofarads. Remember that you can make the capacitor longer or you can add layers in order to increase the capacitance. I'm going to use this high voltage power supply, which gives around 10 to 15,000 volts, to check the capacitor. I'm going to turn it on first without the capacitor connected and then with the capacitor to see the difference. Now the capacitor is connected in parallel with the high voltage output. Ok, there you have it, a homemade capacitor for high voltage projects.